Hear that crunch. Oh, look, I could be a farmer. 300. Hey, hey, just slow down. Just, can you just follow me? Okay, the winners of the Scott Agri hats. Morning, Holly. There we are, we coming. Ah, you bad Good morning, cows fed. I'm just starting to wire in now. About to go spray some oilseed rape, spray it all off, all the oilseed rape with some glyphosate, some liquid sunshine. Dunk's gonna wash this pre-harvest, so there we go. Looks a lot cleaner now. Good to go for harvest in two days' time. No, one day's time, tomorrow. Head is all spotless as well, smashing, good to go. Oh look at it nice and shiny, can't beat it. Oh, it looks damn good when it's shiny, doesn't it? Anyway, ready to go for harvest now. Jump in this, sprayers on the back of it. Spray some Roundup on some oilseed rape and that'll kill it off. It'll be about three to four weeks till we get in behind with the combine and actually cut it. Jesus! Let's give it a kick or something. Oh, look, I could be a farmer. Filling up at the moment, just waiting till that 1900 reaches 3200, then we're good to go. Can I get your hand to ride on? Just a piece of leg to fight on. What a night to fly my car. This bit in front of me doesn't look that good, but it's a good bit. If you look over there, desolate, rough, and it's all due to club root in there. Just completely decimated it. So that's what happens if you've got club root in your fields and you don't grow a club root re resistant variety of rape. Nasty. Tell you what, that's not much of a field of rape right there. Oh man. There's a big bump somewhere in one of the tram lines and I've forgotten where it was. So I'm going to be woodly, woodly, rudely awakened. Club root attacks the root. Rape's got a big tap root, similar to some flowers, big tap root that fires right down the way and it's long and it's pointy. And what club root does is basically as it's growing down, it grows a big bulge on the end of the tap root and the tap root then stops dead and it goes off pussy and mucusy and then your roots are goosed and then your plant dies. Tell you what, quite thankful the tractor knows where the GPS lines are because I, I can hardly see them to be honest with you. You can see a wee streak of green there, but we'll just leave it to the tractor. Cheers, cheers tractor. Okay, the winners of the Scott Agri hats, the extra ones I had kicking about. Two jokes won it, because um, there were two hats to give away. One from Chicken Wing Lad, which was, who can drink five litres of petrol and not die? Jerry can. And the other one was by this guy, Marshy something. His was, what do you get from a dwarf cow? Condensed milk. So the two of you have won that. If you're in the UK, it messages me on Instagram down here. Here's my Instagram. If you've not got Instagram, then just comment down below on this video and I'll tell you next video how to get in contact with me. And then I'll get the hats posted out to you. There's a deer in there. Where's it going? Struggling to get through the rain. There it is. Field number one here, done here. Field number one done, I've got two more to go. This is my sprayer line, um, Dad wrote this this morning and he was obviously in a bit of a rush because um, 47 added to 33 added to 20.25 comes to 81, but it's actually 101. He must have been rushing this morning. So I'm short of 20 litres of Roundup, so I've just filled up to do field number two and I'll finish that. I was hoping to get field number two and three all done in one tank, but it's not going to work out basically. So I'm going to do the refield, uh, head back to the yard, grab some grub, and then I'll grab some chemical at the same time and do field three. So this is field number two, which looks a bit like this. Well, it looks exactly like that actually. This is a much better field. It's a thick, bushy crop. So hopefully when we come to harvest it in about three to four weeks, we'll be getting good yields off it. There's the damn pigeons munching the crop. I don't know what's happened there, but it's moved from over there to there. Bit of an odd one. This is the final field, just listen to the golf. Definitely the best field it looks. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, look at it. Man, dabby dozy. Just had the drone up so you'll have seen the club root affected field. Looks absolutely horrific. That drone footage, courtesy of Rabbi and Alec, cooked in seeds. Cheers, Rabbi. Cheers, Alec. Bit of an upgrade on the drone. So, any bits you see of harvest, silage tomorrow, and the sunflowers, courtesy of them at Kirkton and Seeds, if you need the seed stock.
you can see the rapes lying that way a fraction so i've nudged i've nudged myself 15 centimeters off of center on the tram lines just because if i was if i was running straight i'd be flattening all that down and because that stuff's leaning away i've got a wee bit more space there so just nudge myself this way a wee bit that's the beauty of doing this you nudge yourself a wee bit and just manipulate where the tractor sits to run down the least amount of crop we're flying jobs are good in sitting at the three bar 11k happy days that's all the oil seed rain sprayed done and dusted so three to four weeks in that range we'll be combining it smash just stop by fill the barley which we're going to cut tomorrow this stuff look at that nice thick heavy peas that's what we're after let me give it a bite give it the moisture test Ooh. hear that crunch that is 14 15 percent cracking this is why i sprayed this crop these were green they're starting to ripen up they're not going to be quite fully ripe but that was the same color as those bushes five days ago so it's done a good job and it's killed off the volunteer wheat which is in the endrix Right, home, diesel, add blue, flatbed trailer on it, ready for silage tomorrow. We need to shift a forklift along the road to yard number three, and then we're just about there. Power washer and IBC, we can take them home again because forklift, not forklift, because the combine is cleaned and done. I think that's a bit soft. Look who's escaped again. Flipping sheep. These things, that honestly, like, hey, hey, just slow down. Just, can you just follow me? Where are you going? Where are you going? Right, we're filling up tractors. There's two tractors to fill up. That one's done. Say that's still to do the ad blue. Right, that should rattle all the way up to full, although it's kind of not working. Both new Hollands we've got now, the dials all of a sudden just go right down to zero. It's apparently to do with the increase from 5 to 10% of uh, biofuel in the, in the diesel. It's messing with the, the indicator in the tank. Right, anyway, this tractor, good to go for tomorrow. Let's just move this sprayer arm out of the road. Just sits up there. Grab the fent, any diesel and add blue, fill them up, put a flatbed onto the fent. Normally, yeah, the baler will go onto the fent, but Kev's back tomorrow for the first time and we're in a bit of a squeeze for time right now, so there's no time to figure out the baler and the fent. We'll, we'll deal with that once we've got that silage done and we've cut the winter barley. There's a bit of a gap between the rape, so. We'll have time then to mess about with the thing. Fort lift sorted out, got the grab on, and get one of the tractors onto here. I should have, uh, should have filled up with diesel first before I put that trailer on, but anyway, it's done. I've done it now. First time filling this up, add blue and then we'll see how much flipping diesel it takes. If I remember correctly, I think it's a 400 litre tank. We'll find out how much it takes. I've been away, I've come back and it's still flipping going. I thought it'd be done by now. What are we on? 300. 308. I think it would have about... 15, 20% in it. Right, that's that there. Next up, need to go grab a forklift. I'm just gonna bring it along to here and then deal with it in the morning to take it to yard three. Yard three is just, just, so that's a field of wheat there. At the very end of the wheat is yard two. So it's not far away and we need to bring the silage that we're wrapping tomorrow to this yard and it's gonna come through the wheat field, which unfortunately means running down some wheat. We didn't think about that when we sold the wheat. That'll do for this video. All I've left to do is just move machines about. So I'll see you tomorrow where hopefully we'll get all the silage done and then we'll start the combining. We'll get onto some winter barley, maybe tomorrow afternoon after we've got the silage baled, shifted. Cheers for watching. If you're not already, click subscribe and like, like the video. Subscriptions, what are we at? Seven, six, seven, six, about there. So we're shooting for 8,000. So if you can subscribe, we're on the road to 8,000. We'll charge on. Here come the pea viners. I've just pulled off the road because there'll be about seven of them coming. East Coast pea viners. And a John Deere. Could hide neath the wings of the bluebird as she sings.